In this video, I will provide a quick explanation of the bifid cipher. So here's how this cipher works. Let's say we have the plain text, math is fun, and we would like to encrypt it. Using the bifid cipher, you first need to construct something known as a Polybius square. This is a five by five grid in which each letter of the alphabet appears one time, except for the letter J. Now, the way that we fill in one of these Polybius squares is we first pick a keyword. So for example, let's say we chose the keyword treat. What we do to fill in this square is just start writing out the word treat in each square. So starting in the top left corner of the square, we'll write a T, and then moving to the right, we'll write an R, and then E, and then A. But instead of writing a T right here, remember each letter can only occur once. So we've already written a T. So we've exhausted all of the letters in this keyword. So what we're going to do is just fill in the remaining letters of the alphabet. So we would write an A, but we've already used an A. So we'll just write a B. And then moving to the next row, we'll write a C, and then a D, and then instead of an E, we've already written an E, so we'll move on to F, and we'll just continue in this manner until we've filled in the entire square. Now, once we've filled in this square, we're going to encrypt this plain text going letter by letter, and we're going to identify the row and the column that each letter belongs in. So let's start with M. Let's find M within our Polybius square. So that's right here. So it's in row 3 and column 4. So let's write that. So M is in row three in column four. Next, we'll move on to A. So let's find A within our square. It's right here. We can see that it is in row one in column four. So let's write that. Row one, column four. Then we'll move on to T. So let's find T in the grid. That's right here. That's row one in column one. So we'll write one, one. And we'll just continue in this manner until we've done each letter in the plain text. So here's what we get for the row values and the column values. Now, notice that the rows and the columns right now are stacked on top of each other. The next step is we're just going to unstack the values. So we're going to write this row first, immediately followed by the values in this row. So here's what that looks like. Now, the final step to getting our ciphertext is we're just going to form pairs when, in this unstacked row of values right here. So the first pair is 3, 1. The next pair is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So we're just going to work through these pairs now. So the first pair is 3, 1. So we're going to go over to our grid, identify row three, column one. We can see that they intersect at the character I. So the first character in our ciphertext will be I. So we'll say I, and then we'll move to the next pair, which is one, two. So we'll look at row one, column two, and we'll find that they intersect at the character R. So R is the next value in the ciphertext. And then the next pair of values is three, four. So we'll find row three, column four, they intersect at M, so we'll write M, and then we'll just continue in this manner until we've done all of these number pairs. And we will find that this is our final ciphertext. So that's how we can encrypt the plain text math is fun using the bifid cipher. All right, now suppose that you're given ciphertext and you want to decrypt it using the bifid cipher. In order to do that, you need to know what keyword was used to create the Polybius square that was used to encrypt it. So let's say we know that the keyword was treat, so we're able to form this Polybius square. The first step to decrypting this is let's go letter by letter through the ciphertext. So first, we need to work with I. So what we do is we find I in the table, and we simply write down its row number and column number. So it has row number three, column number one. So we'll write three, one. And then we'll move on to R. So we'll find R in the table, and we'll see that it has row one, column two. So we'll write one, two. And we'll just continue in this manner until we've done every character in the ciphertext. All right, so here's what those numbers look like. The next step is we need to split this number stream in half and then stack it on top of each other. So there are 18 total numbers in this string. So half of that would be nine. So we're going to split this string into groups of nine. So we would split it right here. And what we're going to do is write this second half of the string underneath the first half. So we're going to stack the values. So here's what that looks like. And then to get our final plain text, we're just going to go through each of the pairs and find them in the grid. So the first pair is three, four. So we'll find row three, column four, that corresponds to M. So this first pair corresponds to M. Next, we'll go with the pair one, four. So if we find row one and column four, we can see that they intersect at the letter A. So the next letter will be A. And then we'll do row one, column one. So at row one, column one, they intersect at the letter T. So T will be our next letter. And we'll just continue in this manner until we've worked through all of the number pairs.
And we will find that the original plain text was math is fun. So that was just a quick example of how to encrypt and decrypt text using the Bifid cipher.